we're investing um, in a couple of really exciting opportunities. We, we have gone big into uh, food delivery in many parts of the world. We are in, um, in EdTech, which has been, I think, a tremendous story with people uh, having to spend more time at home, educating themselves uh, behind their computers, uh, ordering their food, uh, keeping, keeping themselves um, in good shape while, um, while the world uh, has changed so much. It's interesting you're sticking to traditional investments when some of your erstwhile rivals out there have been trading in the derivatives market. You're not going to start doing that, are you, Bob? No, we, we very much uh, like, like our investment approach. It's, it served us very well for many, many decades. So we, we look for consumer trends where technology can make a, a, a real difference. And we invest in that for the long term future. And interestingly, that, that future has come forward a lot with, with COVID. So we've seen really our e-commerce business grown uh, with more than 50% year over year. Um, and we also see that actually generate structural improvements in profitability. So we believe that the long-term approach has actually served as well and, and has actually accelerated now. It's got to be a long-term approach, and I get that, Bob. I get that from all uh, walks as well. But especially when some of these valuations look absolutely extraordinary, both in the private market, the so-called unicorns of this world, and indeed on the listed as well. Do you have any concerns about those valuations? Because a lot of investors are beginning to rotate their portfolios. And I think it's essential to be really, really disciplined when markets are like this, right? We, we did, in the last six months, invest uh, close to 600 million in a variety of new, new sectors. I would say there's definitely a lot of exciting entrepreneurs out there who we love to back. So there's opportunity out there. On the other hand, we, we see also this is a time where you want to be smart about where you place your money. And one of the things that we've decided to do is actually uh, invest in our own assets by, by uh, buying back stocks. So we think there are good opportunities out there. You've got to be selective.